military personnel on the road coming up. Check out this. Holy cow. Whoa. On Salt Spring Island. And they're all Chinese military. Wow. I wonder what it is. Huh. Crazy. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I got a message from one of my longtime followers about an article that was on um, HalTurnerRadio.com about Chinese troops in uh, Quebec, Canada. And the U.S. is moving a self-propelled howitzer, um, I guess these are the tanks here, to um, an area there in Maine. And then who knows where they're going from there, which got me to looking for more information about these Chinese troops in Canada. And there's a fellow on YouTube who posts videos um, there at Salt Spring Island. He grows different types of plants from seeds and things like that. And he happened to be traveling down the road when he spotted women Chinese troops in uniform marching down the road. All these women, which surprised me, had extremely long hair, which I thought was unusual. But if you want to blend in uh, with the population, yeah, you would send in women with long hair and not with short military haircuts. So I did a Google search on uh, Google Earth for Salt Spring Island in British uh, Columbia. And this is what I got. Here we got Vancouver. I assume... These troops were seen someplace close to where this fellow lived. Now, on October 2nd, I believe, the United States purchased from Israel two Iron Dome defense missile systems. I had heard, uh, oh, probably three to five years ago, that the U.S. was looking to purchase the Iron Dome defense missile system from Israel. And they were going to be deployed up along the east coast of the U.S. Now here's another Twitter post from Hal Turner Radio uh, Show dot com. It says, "Arm yourselves and prepare." Chinese massing tens of thousands of troops in Prince Rupert and Vancouver, Canada, invade USA. Well, what disguise? What would they use to bring in troops? Well, the same way they're doing it in many parts of the world under the disguise of trade. Uh, that kind of reminds me, what, two years ago, um, some Chinese people were brought in from Mexico and dropped off on the shore somewhere down there in Southern California. Remember that? Those that keep an eye on what China does, we know that China moves into many parts of the world uh, with the offers of helping rebuild their infrastructure, uh, bringing in the trade, and they're doing the same thing there in Canada. And I watched on um, Netflix, I think it was, about here in America, how the Chinese government, a Chinese-owned government uh, company, came in and took over a U.S.-based company to make uh, windshields for automobiles. And they thought, oh, great, they're going to be employing all these Americans. Well, what ended up happening is the Americans didn't work fast enough, and they needed breaks, and they wanted to take lunch and only work five days a week where the Chinese government forces on their people to work nonstop. So using the excuse that production was down, they ended up firing the American workers and brought in more Chinese from China. Canada has not signed an agreement for their um, road. I forget what it's called. I'll, I'll get that in a minute. Has not signed an agreement um, to to do trade and be part of this plan that China has to uh, uh, build all these structures, all these businesses, and all this trade around the world. Canada has not signed an agreement to be part of that. But yet they are building in Canada just as if they have this Belt and Road Facility Agreement in uh, British Columbia. And there's a really good video 
um, by Rebel News about how China is moving into Canada, taking over infrastructures, etc. There in British Columbia, and over the years, their um, Prime Minister Trudeau has been really chummy with China, turning a blind eye for all these Chinese people. How many are sleeper cells that are coming to Canada? Now I'll give you a link also showing these Chinese soldiers, women, looks like they're all women to me. I'll give you a link that this guy just happened to come across as they're marching down this rural road there in BC, Canada. There's what, 75, maybe 100 of these people marching. Foreign troops openly marching down the roads there in British Columbia. Now, according to Hal Turner Radio Show, it says here, Chinese troops are mustering elsewhere near the U.S. border with Canada, this time along with the Quebec and New Brunswick province borders with Maine. The United States is now moving train loads of heavy armored to that exact area. Looks like the fight is coming right here to the U.S. Yeah, which reminds me of the vision that um, God gave me many years ago, probably oh, 35, maybe longer, 35 years ago. Um, in the vision, I was standing on the beach down in Pacifica, California, um, looking towards Mount Diablo, and suddenly there was this bright flash of light, white, bright white flash of light, and the ocean started boiling. A huge tsunami came and wiped out yeah, everything along the coast, San Francisco, martial law was declared, yeah. Um, yeah, the visions were so horrifying that I would wake up in a sweat and maybe a week, a month, two months later, um, the visions would start right where it ended and I woke up. And in one of the last visions that I believe that God gave me, the sky was full of missiles. And the missiles were white with red tail fins, if anyone happens to know which country has um, those types of missiles. A white body with red tail fins. Yeah, and then there's martial law and famine and yeah, cities across the United States, Great Plains are burning. And I remember that um, I didn't know what, a time, what time it was going to happen. I just knew that it was like an Indian summer that we used to call. Um, the end of the year there in uh, California. So I'll, I've always been on watch um, for that to happen, for it to begin, when there was a season like an Indian summer that they called it. And that would be before um, the rains would start there in California. Anyways, what do you think about all these rumors of these Chinese troops there in Canada? We've heard about them in Mexico, like I said. Are they, in fact, planning for an invasion? Well, time will tell. All we can do is be prepared. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Military personnel on the road coming up. Check out this. Holy cow. Whoa. On Salt Spring Island. And they're all Chinese military. Wow. I wonder what it is. Huh. Crazy.